The aim is to always get dovetails straight off the saw and most of the time that, that is what happens on a big sideboard I recently made and I don't want to sound boastful but all the dovetails on each end were, were perfect straight from the saw but now again every, everybody makes mistakes and we have to do it everybody now and again will have to make an adjustment to a dovetail um, it's quite time consuming and inefficient to have to alter them but we all have to do it and in particularly with timbers like this which is um, Aframosia and U, both which are extremely dense uh, and incompressible timbers there's no leeway they're, they're very unforgiving timbers so we can't risk the joints being being too tight so on this occasion I'm having to uh, to, to um, give it some attention after after we've sawn it we'll see this one is a little bit tight and I think what we need to do on that is just ease this off a bit on the sides with, with a paring chisel just to make it uh, just to make it enter a little bit more easily but uh, as I say ideally to save time and for high craftsmanship these should fit straight from the saw now that one's okay you see that one kind of that'll easily that's easily going in halfway by hand now I know that's going to enter all the way So I think if you'd like to then check each each leg in turn, and I'll show you how to gently pair it back, and then you can uh, you can assess then whether it's too tight or not. So once we, we once we're certain that the legs will all go in without being so tight, we need excessive cramping force or or any risk of splitting the joint. We can then in sequence glue glue the legs in onto the top and check for squareness uh, and so on and then we'll leave the glue to set and then we can do a final clean up. What, one little detail which is worth noting is you can see how I've slightly relieved the wood on the inside. I've given it a slight chamfer which tapers off to nothing on the outer edge. And the reason I've done that is it helps, it helps the joint to enter without the risk of sort of um, spelching or crushing the, the wood fibres as it enters. And it also means there's somewhere for any excess glue to squeeze into. And this is this is an old, uh, uh, old little trick that from, from the Barnsley workshop, which which um, somebody who trained with Barnsley taught, taught me, showed me how to do this. All those little details which not everybody knows about, which is a is a useful little dodge. So we'll, uh, we'll set. I'll put these over there. I like the way you protect your work. What is this stuff? Uh, it's, just, it's, it's a really routing map, but it's quite good because it's got a, got a non-slick surface. There should be another dog somewhere. That joint's a little bit too tight, so what we need to do now is put this in the put this in the vise and pair it back slightly. Well, there's two ways we can do this. We can either do it like this freehand, or we can put it on the vise, put it on, on its side on the bench. Really, all I'm doing is just taking off, taking off the saw marks. And the other way to do it is that way is okay, but it, I do risk there is a risk of the timber breaking out on the other side. So, pair down, holding this firmly onto the scrap piece of timber, a sacrificial piece of MDF.
Joe, it's still too tight. I don't really want to touch the tails. I, I want to take it off here. If you look carefully, you can sometimes see where where it's compressed the fibres. It sort of polishes the the fibres. Then we can get an idea where it's too tight. What we don't want is the it's, it, two things can happen if it, if a dovetail's too tight because there's a there's, there's a fantastic amount of grip on this just the sheer physical friction. If you get it too tight, even with glue on and a cramp, you can end up get, getting it three quarters of the way and not being able to pull up the joints really tightly. So, but on the other hand, we don't want it loose. The loose loose joints um, is it, never going to be any good either. There's always a risk it might work loose. And after a while, we, we, you'll, you'll get, you, get, you get to feel when it's right. See, that's going to go now with cramps. That's, that's, that's tight, but not over tight. With, with, the, with the sash cramp, that'll pull up and be, you can already see, that's absolutely rock solid. And it's not, not even halfway yet, it's not glued. And that's what a good dovetail should be like. We're doing so much talking. I've actually assembled the wrong one leg in the wrong in the wrong uh, joint. But even so, it's a pretty tight fit. So I think that's sort of testament to the accuracy of, of sawing. That still fits, and it's not even that's leg number two, and it's joint num joint number three. So it works. Well, Andy, you're a mind-blowing, <laughs> brilliant craftsman. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so.